everyone, in this video, I will let you know the project I made for my room. In the previous videos, I reviewed all the project ideas commented on the intro video. But as you all must be knowing that I already made one project on this problem. So in this video, I will show you how to make your ESP talk to each other. So let's get started. So this all are the components you will require to make today's project, which includes two ASP 866 modules, two 9 volt batteries, one PIR module and a piezo buzzer. First, let's have a look over the coding. One of the ESP will act as an access point and other ESP will get connected to it so that we don't require any router in between the two ESPs. Okay, so first let's have a look over the code of ESP acting as an access point. This is basically a server. This ESP will be doing nothing until one particular link is requested within its local connection. And that link is 192.168.4.1 slash PIR. If this link is requested by any device connected to this module, then it will buzz the buzzer five times with some delay in between. This is the code on the server side. Now we need to code our client in such a way that whenever anyone is coming through the stairs, the module should request this particular link. So for that, I have used the PIR motion sensor module and the code is written in such a way that Whenever PIR detects the motion, the ESP module, which is already connected with our server ESP module, will request the particular link, which is 192.168.4.1 slash PIR. Now that's it about the coding. So here one ESP is talking to other whenever anyone is coming through the stairs. So let's see this in action. Before that, you need to code both the ESP modules with the help of either USB or DTL converter or you can even use your Arduino board. Now if you don't know how to code your USB board, watch out my videos, link is given in the description. And if you have any doubt regarding this coding and this project, do comment below, I will definitely solve your problem. Okay, first let's test the server module with my smartphone. First I will connect my phone to this access point. Then going to the Chrome, okay, as you can hear the buzzer started buzzing because I already requested the link in the browser and the page just got refreshed as soon as I opened the browser. So the server is working perfectly. Now the client module I have attached just above the entrance of my stairs so that it can sense anyone coming up or going down. Now I will put one camera on the server module and other camera I will take with myself so that we can observe both the modules at a time. Okay, so the client module told the server module that someone is on the stairs. Now let's come up from the entrance and let's test this. Okay, it again gave the signal to the server and the buzzer started buzzing. So this was my project which solved my problem. Hope you liked this project and got to know how all this works. If you have any doubts regarding this project, just comment below. I already uploaded the code of both server and client onto my GitHub account whose link is available in the description. Subscribe my channel if you haven't and stay tuned for next upcoming projects. Till then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.